Hi, welcome to this channel. My name is Marlene. I've been making art for a few years now and I've become very passionate about it. So for this video, I just want to show you around my small studio space that I've been working on setting up for the past year. And yeah, I've been working on this space so that I can have a more creative and comfortable space to make some art. And I hope that you enjoy this studio tour. This is just a little area of my apartment. That's my dog, Mia. Simple table, some space on the side. And this is my laptop. This is my sketchbook. And these are my oil pastels that I've been using for a few months now. Yeah, I really enjoy them and those that's my gouache set these are my painting brushes yeah i don't have a lot of brushes like i usually when i paint i only use one or two so yeah i don't really need a lot and this is from a candle i usually reuse um candles whenever i finish them and this is some of my artwork some of these are not originals these are references that i use from um, pinterest like this one here this avocado here as well and this one is a reference from a youtube channel i don't remember the name of the channel but i will put their name in the screen and this one is also from the same channel as well and this is my first art piece that i bought from a local artist here and yeah this is some guidance for color theory and yeah this is very helpful usually when i wanna wanna remind myself of complementary colors or opposite colors on the color wheel and it's really helpful to look at this is also from that same channel and this one right here is something that i did um i just came up with that I had some extra paint and this is this was with acrylic paint this one right here i did a reels on it not a real. I posted a short video on it. Yeah, um, I really enjoyed this one. This was from a picture that I took when I went to a museum. Um, and it had a beautiful garden. And yeah, I just, I really like this one. And this one, I, there's another, there was another version of this one. And I just recently, it like, I never really enjoyed this painting before. And I just like kept looking at it and I felt like something was missing. So when I got my oil pastels, I just thought like, what if I add oil pastels like on top of this painting? And I did that and I just like love what it did. So like I just added oils here and here. And I just like, I love how it highlighted a lot of like details and how vibrant it looks this one this is what i posted um on my last video this little this butterfly here yeah really cute i covered it on oil pastels this was done with gouache but i covered it with oil pastels because there was like a bee that i painted here that i really didn't like but i love the butterfly and the flower and everything so i cover it up and it looks really nice this one i did like about a year or two ago and this was just me trying to do like an abstract paint i kind of like it um yeah i really like it because of like the way that i came up with it i was really thinking too much about it and i was just like thinking about a beach and the sun and just really 
crystal clear blue water and yeah and that yellow thing was supposed to be the sun down here this is just another sketchbook that i'm working on i am trying to get better at painting people i've been doing this sketchbook aside from my other um regular sketchbook hi mia and this is um this is just a book that i picked up a while ago from um a bookstore i haven't really gotten into it as much i've done a few pages and it's a huge sketchbook that i ordered a while ago and it just like turned out to be even bigger than what i thought and down here this is my first sketchbook um, all the drawing with chalk pastels that i did this was like I, I used to love doing coloring books and i think i should get into this one again i i really like this one it, it I think it will be good to like try to do that it like to help me come up with little doodles and things like that so yeah it's just like a children's coloring book so it's really cute and another coloring book it's just some paper for chalk pastels and these are some of my old drawings with with chalk pastels and these are from that um youtube channel that i talked earlier about yeah it's a really good youtube channel if you want to learn to do chalk or cell drying this was a reference from pinterest i never really finished another drawing from the same youtube channel and this is an oil painting that i did a while ago i really didn't i didn't like it these are just lights that I use for like drawing and filming and things like that. I got them on Amazon. Here some stickers and things like that. Down here I just have here I just have this canvas. I never finished, never did anything on it, and this is just like another one I painted over it. And yeah. This is just rags, and yeah, this is the paper that I use for whenever I want, whenever I'm painting with oils. See, so these are my oil paints. These are just really cheap oil paints from Amazon, but I really like them. They work for me. They're very nice, and yeah that's the one and it comes with like a lot of colors and here i keep my linseed oil and yeah it's just easier for me to have it like this on like a dropper because i just pour a little bit whatever i need and i don't really use any other like chemicals or anything like that when i'm using whenever i'm painting with oils I just use this and that's it and this is for um brush brush cleaner some more random or uh, acrylic paint i usually use this once for um blocking out an oil painting i usually want like to start with acrylics and this is a um, burnt sienna color and here this is this is from another candle actually and yeah i use this for um water whenever i'm doing a uh, gouache painting this little drawer situation i just keep a bunch of random stuff here like sharpies i really like this color this paper mate pens for sketching and just like random papers random markers and pens and things like that here i have my prisma colors my markers just a lot of them i got them from amazon 
I really been enjoying them. I love them a lot. Um, pencils for sketching and again got them from Amazon. It comes with like a range of sizes and it's really nice. And these are more markers. Um, yeah, again, I got a huge package of them from Amazon and yeah, I really like the variety of colors that they have. And this is my palette for my oil paintings and this is the paper that I mentioned that I use the gray paper and I tape it here on this on this and yeah this is a rack for my oil um paintings and yeah and that's it that's all of it that is my oh i almost forgot this is my easel i got this a while ago a year ago and this is when i was like into doing really big paintings like as you can see i haven't really done big paintings this here this one here this is um uh this was a study, a paint study that I was trying to do from um, a YouTube channel. I think I want to paint over it because it was just like, it's a nice painting, but I think I would like to have something. I think I would like to create something on my own to like have on a large canvas. But I don't know. I, I like, I don't really do big paintings like this anymore. I just like figure like it's better for me to those smaller things that I enjoy just like helps me improve my skills a lot more whenever I do a lot more paintings instead of just instead of just like big ones and this is another painting actually that is not finished that it's been sitting there since like October of last year I have like never abandoned a painting like this but this was supposed to be another study this was from like um uh, this painting was another study from a painting from uh an artist that I saw at a museum. Again, I forgot their name, but I, I love the this artist's work and just like try to do it on my own way. And I don't know what happened. Like I started really strong. It doesn't really need much else. Like all I needed to do was like the foreground here and i blocked out like some of the greens like i need to finish and that's it like i stopped there and yeah i i think i want to do something different with this like i want to finish it i really love this but then like this side right here just like this i i, I don't like and yeah i i thought i would make a video um, to kind of keep me accountable to finish this painting and figure out what I would do with it and what I've been thinking since like I've been really loving my oil pastels I think I want to try to like add oil pastels on top of like this to highlight stuff and just try to make it my own and I don't know I think I, I want to do that. I I don't want to abandon it. I just can't bring myself to finish it now. And yeah, I just I just need to find how to make it my own, I guess. But yeah, I don't know. I think I, I will finish it. And that's all of it. That is all I had for this video. I hope that you enjoyed watching. I am probably going to do another video redoing this wall here. I'm not too happy about it. So stay tuned for that video. And yeah, if you enjoy watching, don't forget to support this channel by subscribing, liking, and commenting. And I hope to see you next time. Bye.